Hey everyone, it's Mr. Rose on here again. Today I want to show you how to generate a table of values for an equation. And I'll do uh, maybe a couple of different equations just to show you. So first one, we'll, we'll, we're going to call this thing um, how to create a table of values. And then from there, I'm actually going to show you how to graph as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do something simple. So we'll do our first example. We're going to create a table of values for this equation. Y equals 2x plus 3. So we'll keep it super simple first, and I'm going to show you how I would make the graph of this thing. So the way I would do the table of values is I would create x and y. And I'm going to basically pick some... Uh, x coordinates around the zero mark. So I usually like going, let's say negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and three. Usually I like enough points that I can actually make a nice graph with it. Now the way you actually generate the y values is you're essentially going to take these x values and replace it or sub it in where the x is. So right here you're going to replace it with that number. So I'll do it the long way for the first couple so you actually understand what I'm doing here. So for the y value for negative 3, what I would do is this is going to equal to 2 times negative 3 plus 3. So it's the same exact equation, but instead of having an x, I'm replacing it with the current x, which is negative 3, which in this case is going to be 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Okay, the next one would be 2 times negative 2 plus 3. And in this case, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 3 is going to be negative 1. Okay, and I'll do a couple more. Okay, so the next one would be 2 times negative 1 plus 3, which works out to 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 3 is positive 1. Okay, The next one is 2 times 0, plus 3. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. And then 2 times 1, plus 3, this is going to be 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 is going to be 5, and the pattern continues. This will be 4 plus 3 is 7. And then the last one is 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 is 9. Okay, so this table of values here, what it basically means is these are the x values and these are the y values. So what they, what they mean in terms of points or coordinates, the first point would be negative 3 comma negative 3. That's the coordinate I can read out of this table of values. It means when the x value is negative 3, the y value is also negative 3. The next coordinate is negative 2, comma, negative 1. That's the next coordinate. The next coordinate is negative 1, comma, 1. Then it's 0, comma, 3, 1, comma, 5, 2, comma, 7, and then 3 comma 9. So these are all points that I can make a graph with. Now let's see if I can make a little graph here. I'm just going to try and do it as best I can here. We'll see how it goes. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And I need to get up to 9. So 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then we're going to go one, two, three. I need to go to negative three as well. So my points, okay, when it's negative three, my dot goes down to negative three. It would be right here. Okay, the next coordinate would be at negative two, comma, negative one, which kind of overlaps right there. When it's negative 1, it's at positive 1. It would be right here. 0 would be at 3. 1 would be at positive 5, which is right here. You can see it's creating a straight line. 
the 2 would be at positive 7. Okay, so if this one was 5, 7 would be right here. And the last one would be 9 right at the top there. And you could go ahead and connect these with a straight line afterwards. Okay, so that's how you would do a table of values for a, just a simple line like that. Now normally, this stuff right here that I'm going to highlight, normally you wouldn't write that. You would just use your calculator and punch in the numbers and you would get your, your numbers like negative 3, negative 1, 1, that sort of thing. So just for this example, i just showing how, like the logic of how I figured out the y values. Let's go do another example. So let's work out, let's do a parabola this time. So let's do y equals, um, let's try negative x squared plus 2. Something like that. Okay. So if I wanted to do a table of values for this thing, I would do x and y again. And for this parabola, I'm going to do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. We'll do these five points. Now again, I'm going to write the long way out of how to actually figure out what the y values are, okay? So for the first one, you would go negative bracket, negative 2 squared plus 2. What I'm doing is I'm replacing the x that's in the equation. So this x right here, I'm replacing that with the current x value in the table of values. Now this particular example is a bit weird because it's got a negative in front of it. So I had to put it in brackets uh, like this. Okay, so you do have to use brackets in this particular equation. Now I'm going to go ahead and calculate this. So negative 2 squared, that thing is 4, but it's got a negative in front of it. So it's like this, negative 4 plus 2. And this is going to give me my answer of negative 2. Okay. The next one would be negative bracket, negative 1 squared plus 2. The negative 1 squared is just 1, and then it's got a negative in front of it, so it's still negative, which gives you positive 1. Okay, the next one, negative 0 squared plus 2. 0 squared is 0. zero uh, make, making 0 negative is still 0. So this one is just straight 2. Okay, the next one. This would become 1 squared is 1. So you would, be, you would have negative 1 plus 2. And that's going to be positive 1. And the last one would be negative 2 squared plus 2. This is going to give you negative 4 plus 2. Because 2 squared is 4, but the negative is in front of it, means it has to stay negative. Uh, so it's going to be negative 4 plus 2, which is going to give you negative 2. So these coordinates here, the points. First point is going to be negative 2, comma, negative 2. The next point is negative 1, comma, 1. The next point is 0, comma, 2. So again, all I'm doing is I'm just figuring out the end numbers here. Those are the y values. Okay. The next coordinate would be 1, comma, 1. And the next one would be 2, comma, negative 2. So I'm going to graph this thing now. So I'm going to go to the next page. I'm just going to rewrite these points out here. Give me one second here. Just so I got more room. Negative 1, comma, 1, yeah. 0, 2, 1, 1, and then 2, comma, negative 2. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so to graph this thing, we're going to draw an axis. Negative 1, negative 2, 1, 2. And we need to go down to negative 2 and up to positive 2. Okay, so we're going to just draw in our points now. So negative 2 for the x. This is your x uh, axis and this is your y axis. Negative 2 for the x the negative, and down 2 for the y. That's our first point. 
The next point would be negative 1 for the x and positive 1 for the y. It would go right here. Okay, the next point would be 0 for the x and up 2 for the y. Right there. Okay, the next one would be positive 1 on the x, positive 1 on the y. It's that location here. And then finally, positive 2 on the x, down 2 on the y, like that. And that is what our graph would look like. Okay, so again, the equation, we had y equals negative x squared plus 2. And what this particular uh, equation is, this is a parabola. It is, it is reflected downwards because of the negative. So the negative makes it reflect downwards. And the plus 2 makes it shift upwards. So it's flipped down and it's shifted upwards by 2. So I hope you got something out of this uh, little video. Again, the big thing is I want to show you how to generate a table of values and uh, how to take those to table of values, figure out what the coordinates are, and then take those coordinates and make a graph. And again, the big thing is a lot of people, they won't actually show this work here. Okay, you can do this straight in your calculator and go right to, to the final value here a lot of the time. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's, that's really an unnecessary step unless you're just practicing. Sometimes it's easier to write out the equations and then actually get your answer. Okay, so I hope you learned something in this little video in how to actually generate tables of values and how to make graphs uh, in math.